What's up? I'm on Lake Toho today with Jim and Patrick from Ohio. It's got a big rainstorm in the background. We start, we've already been fishing for a couple hours. We caught a few fish on a shell bed this morning. I've done so many videos on that. I didn't even bring the camera out. We're out here fishing and I remembered I need to announce a winner of my latest giveaway. I'm giving away those two big giant bags of the DOA Lures 8 inch CAL which is what I'm throwing right now and what we call most of our fish on this morning. Um, right now we're throwing a speed worm up in this grass. We got a big storm behind us. And, but my winner for this giveaway is actually somebody that I know. I did a random drawing just like I always do. And he actually sent me a message um, a couple days ago asking if I had done the giveaway. But I do a random drawing every time through this app that I found called Random Picker. And everybody that commented on that last video, besides some people that left some negative comments, I took you guys out. I don't mind if you leave negative comments. If you have something negative to say, just say it. It doesn't bother me. But I took those people out because I'm not going to give anybody anything that says negative stuff. <laughs> Would you guys give stuff? But anyway, the, the winner is Hunter Cato, C-A-T-T-O. I've known Hunter since he was a baby. I grew up with his uncle. And uh, Hunter Cato, you won two big giant bags of the DOA 8 inch CAL, the big trick worm. So comment on this video or send me a message somehow and uh, I'll get them mailed out to you. Two big bags, giant bags of the DOA worms. I also want to announce some stuff that's coming up. This boat's on its way out. My 2019 Ranger Z520L in my oven route and I got a brand new one coming in. And that boat is getting wrapped. I'm not telling you who's wrapping it yet. I'll announce that, but I got a new big partnership coming up. Wrap boat, wrap truck coming this way in the next couple weeks. I'm trying to get it done before ICAST convention comes to Orlando. And I'm in talks for another new partnership, which I'll tell you guys all about that also. But we're going to fish for a little bit and try and make a little bit of video catching some bass here. Slow rolling a speed worm through some hydrilla and stay tuned we'll see what happens and then that was that was the end of it got one. oh we got one now i gotta go see. on cue he catches one on the speed worm <laughs> you guys didn't see it but he put on a clinic this morning on the shell bed we're not going to say who caught the most <laughs> on the shell bed but now he's getting the speed worm thing figured out. It's easy when you take your son fishing because as the dad, you have a built-in excuse. If you don't catch as many, you can say, I'm, bas I'm basically here for him. But what you need to realize is when he gets old, like you have to take him fishing and let him catch more. It's a whole cycle. <laughs> I consider myself old. Yeah, old, old. I'd be okay catching more than yeah. him. <laughs> but how old are you, 13? Yep. So now they're getting into that time frame where he, dad has to compete against them. And if they are competing today, one of them is winning so far. But he's still young enough to have the whole I'm here for him thing. We have perfect weather. And I think we're going to catch some decent fish. We've just caught some small ones so far, but it's only nine o'clock. You got a snag like I had last time. What are you saying? We are cleaning up on all the scorable fish. That's an MLF term. One pound or better. Just another one, speed worm, slow rolling it. Braided line, 3 16th, oh, wait, let me see that. Eighth ounce weight on braid. If you run these things on monofilament, they're gonna ride up closer to the surface. So I put them on braid to keep them down in that hydrilla. And we're just slow rolling it like a uh, spinner bait. And when you come out into like a hole or any kind of gap in the grass, you just let it drop a little bit and they just clobber it.
Got him? Oh, yeah. Way back in there. That's not a bad one. That was all the way back in there, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Just shy of seven pounds. <laughs> By about five and a half. <laughs> yeah. Speed worm. I am not throwing a speed worm. Because we're not getting a ton of bites. I'm just throwing a fluke up here in front of them because we are going down a grass line we're fishing out in open water i'll fish a lot and cast all over the place but when we're fishing down a grass line unless i have one guy i'm usually not going to throw the same bait unless i'm trying to figure them out but i'm pretty sure they want to eat a speed worm here so there's no sense in me guiding these guys and casting the same lure right in front of them it'd be more fun for me but not for these guys Got him? Yep. He's on fire. Man, they are eating that speed worm, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Here's what you guys didn't see. As we worked up most of this grass line when we started, we have the winds kind of cutting from the southwest, a, a kind of across this grass line. And we were working against the wind not getting any bites i think we caught one small one and uh that happens a lot here they want the bait come in a certain direction and because the way it's cut and i have the boat turned out a little bit here we just power idled back up to the other end of the grass line and turned around and i'm just letting the wind push us down and that bait's coming basically straight against the wind and we've caught what five or five or so now yeah five or so now in the past 15 minutes after going up spending 25 minutes 30 minutes coming this way and only getting one bite so if you know the fish are in a spot and you're not catching them yesterday when i found these fish here we were going with the wind just like this i started today going against it just because i did and they weren't biting or we weren't getting bites turn us around and we actually fished through this area because we are we fished all the way up to that cut but now we're getting bit and it's like a maybe a five mile an hour wind you wouldn't think it'd be a difference but it's making a difference got him Cracking on his dad's fish, he worked so hard for. Exactly. Really? They are definitely on a speed worm bite. <clears throat> They're not big though. A lot of the parts of the country you go to, it gets overcast and a little breeze, and the fish go nuts. But here in Central Florida, when you get overcast or what you would consider would be perfect fishing conditions maybe it's because our water's so dark i don't know but it's hard to get the fish to cooperate although we've had a pretty good last 30 minutes that's like six or seven fish in 30 minute period they will not touch this fluke and i drug a worm through here yesterday they wouldn't hit that you could probably slow down and flip it some of the thicker stuff but that's not a lot of fun and they're biting a speed worm but it's just kind of a numbers game, hoping you get a bigger bite. Right now, they all seem to be about a pound and a half. And that's about it. Look at that chasing it. Oh, that on you? Head powder. That's the one that just blew up, probably, isn't it? I think so. Did you land on him? I, I was within five feet. I thought he was bigger than that. <laughs> so did I. Only nine pounds. Of Look what I did. Only only nine pounds away from a ten. Nine 
Nine pounds away from a 10 pounder, just another one. Yeah, I don't think it's open water back in there like it looks like. I just think the grass dips down a little bit behind that hydro, that thicker hydro line, and they seem to be back in behind there. Although we've caught a lot of them on the outskirts of it. Oh man, I could probably cut this off and start over with another rod, but I'm stubborn. Got it. Winner. Moral victory. It's all I've accomplished today. You still do any trips over on Okeechobee? Nope, there's one on the swim jig. Finally. He hit it right on the point of that grass. I had to set it kind of weird so I didn't whack my cameras. Caught one on something that's not a speed worm. Same size. Little swim jig. Oh man, they're on a swim jig bite. <laughs> on these lily pads here, see the scattered lily pads? Yeah. If you throw over top of them when you get up to them, just stop it and let it sink to the bottom. If you throw right at the, like if you throw right up on one like that, just let it sit there like it's a Texas rig for a second and then go back, then go into reeling. That was just on that little point of Kissimmee grass right there. So we're about done fishing today. It was small fish today, small fish day at Lake Toho today. He had at least a half dozen fish on over five pounds, but he jumped them all off. And his dad had one on over 10, but we didn't get it on film. No, it was, we didn't catch any big fish today. Caught about 15 on the speed worm. But like I said, congratulations to Hunter Caddo. Contact me. Hope you're doing well, hope your family's doing well. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, is a while back I did a video about my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, where you get two days of fishing with me, two free nights at the Shingle, Rosen Shingle Creek. I think I'm even getting a round of golf thrown in on that. Two rod and reels combos, one for each person, um, from 13 Fishing some stuff from DOA, and I'm pretty sure, like I said before, I've got some stuff coming up, some new partnerships. I'm sure I can get some pretty cool stuff thrown in from those guys. So it just keeps adding up. The thing is, I have to get 10,000 subscribers by December 31st. I'm almost halfway there. We got half the year left, um, but you gotta go back to that video and comment on that video not this one on that video you can comment on this video comment on this video too i'll make you eligible so comment on this video or that video but watch it to see the details i'm going to give away that stuff but um hunter congratulations i'll ship your worms out to you just go on doalures.com let me know what two colors of those eight inch cal worms you want and i will ship them out to you Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. You guys got anything to say? Nope. Nope. See you next time. Fish with Chuck. Fish with me.